Medical debt is the number one reason why people go into bankruptcy in the United States. The growing crisis of medical debt in More America. Than 100 million people are saddled with health care debt in the United States. That's larger than the economy of Greece. Oh. Almost anyone can end up in medical debt. You can have insurance and you can end up in medical debt. You can get sick and be brought to a hospital that's outside of your network and you can end up in medical debt. Being a leader in government is a tremendous opportunity to address, you know, historic wrongs. We can prevent someone from getting evicted because they had medical debt from choosing between paying their medical bills or putting food on the table. And it's incumbent upon those of us in leadership positions to use this money wisely, to invest it wisely. And uh, I, I'm very proud of the fact that we're leaders in the elimination of medical debt. My name is Tony Preckwinkle. I'm president of the Cook County Board of Commissioners, which means I'm county executive for Cook County. We decided early on this is one of the ways we were gonna use our American Rescue Plan Act resources. There is this group, RIP Medical Debt, which is our partner in this work. We are a charitable, nonprofit institution that's mission is to end medical debt. We were founded by two former debt buyers who knew the debt industry and knew that you could buy debt for pennies on the dollar, which is why one dollar relieves over a hundred dollars of medical debt. And we've gotten rid of over seven billion dollars of debt for over four million people to date. Okay, so the question is who's eligible? We look for people that are 400% of poverty or below, or if the debt is 5% or more of the person's income. We're gonna spend $12 million. That's our initial investment. $12 million over three years that they're using to get rid of roughly $1 billion of medical debt. That is a leverage that most social programs can't provide. That is why so many local governments are knocking on our door. We've gotten inquiries from around the country, New Orleans, Louisiana, Los Angeles County, Columbus, Ohio, Toledo, Ohio. Cook County was the first municipality that used American Rescue Plan dollars. We followed that model to allocate $800,000, and then the Lucas County Commissioners are matching $800,000 for a total of $1.6 million. We can potentially get up to $240 million of medical debt off the backs of local Toledoans with a $1.6 million investment. The beauty of this program is that no one needs to apply and no one really needs to know about it. One day, someone's gonna get a letter in the mail saying their debt's been canceled. Their debt's been wiped out and we are careful to be sure that their credit reports are, are cleaned up as well. And because their debt is in our hands, they are free and clear of that debt for the rest of their lives. The sense of joy and amazement and relief that we get from people after we send these letters is incredible. There are no words. Things like, I now feel like I can go and get the care that I need that I've been avoiding because I was embarrassed. This debt is out of my way so I can handle my credit card bills now. At the same time, we appreciate that we shouldn't exist as an institution. Medical debt is a systemic problem. It is no one's individual fault. It's a really uniquely American problem that we have. And um, we just let a lot of people go, you know, without food, without medical care, because of our broken healthcare system. That's why at RIP Medical Debt, we are fundamentally trying to shift the conversation around bigger solutions to the problem. Because we don't solve the issue of medical debt, we clean up a mess at the end. I'm just really grateful that a lot of people are gonna see the relief that they deserve. No one deserves to be in medical debt, and I'm glad that our local government can do something small for citizens to help them find relief. Washington, D.C. doesn't have a plan to eliminate medical debt, but Toledo, Ohio does.